Hey gang and welcome to Weirdly Niche Content with Grace. So these are actually my most popular videos which are the ones where I talk about my ice skates. So we're gonna start, I'm a bit of a hoarder so I have a collection, so we're gonna start with my lowest level skates and work up to my highest. So I have done other videos on this so I'll be repeating a lot of the same stuff but if you're interested watch this as well I'll link the other ones below if you want to see them don't really remember what I said in them so I could like really be count contradicting myself here but um we'll start with my Jackson Mystiques so these are basic 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 entry level skates if you started skating in the mid noughties you would have started in Mystiques you would have I know now Loads of people starting over chores and um, RF4s maybe? I don't really know rice sport at all. Um, I know loads of people starting those kinds of skates now, but Jackson's Mystiques in particular were just the go-to skate when I started skating. So I have about 15 different pairs of them. I don't quite have 15. I have quite a lot of different pairs of Mystiques in different sizes because I grew up wearing them. But um their leather upper padding not a mad amount of padding but quite good for this sort of level skate i've lost most of the support in these so when you first get them they're a bit more solid you can see they're quite solid down here but up in the ankle i've lost most of the support it's a pvc sole so it is waterproof um and then really bog standard ultima jackson blade which yeah, it's got a silly little toe pick, but I actually love the rock profile on these skates so much. These blades have the best rock profile, I think, but because they're a set blade that came with the boot, I can't find the information anywhere. So if you know what the rock profile on the blades that comes with the steeks is, please let me know because I want a pair of these because my spins are so much nicer when I do them in these. So if you are a beginner skater, I totally recommend a pair of Mystiques. Um, they'll get you up to your passport if you're in the UK. I don't know what that is in other countries. I've only ever done the UK system. But you can start jumping in these. I wouldn't jump in them anymore because I've lost all my support. We've got some nice ankle creasing going on. But um, I think your toe loop, you might struggle because of the silly little toe pick. But you could definitely land singles in this. Waltzes and sows, 100% this is the boot to learn those in. Um, but I mainly use it for dance and I love it for dance. The blade is theoretically a bit long to dance in, but I like it. I do trip over my feet sometimes anyway, maybe. Maybe I can blame the, bl oh, I can blame the blade for that. Right, so these are lowest entry level skates. Then moving on, we have my move into a daya, which I did with my chorus, so. Here is an Adea Chorus boot, four gems there, one gem on the laces, um, should also say Chorus in gold and Adea in gold on here, but you can't see it because all well, the gold's worn off because I've had them for so long. So these have got more padding in them than the Mystiques do and they're definitely a higher level boot, you can hear how solid they're built. These are also a leather upper and I'm pretty sure it's also PVC here. So these are fully waterproof as well. Um, they're really good skates. One thing I would say about these is because it's a memory foam, which is great and they're so comfy because of the memory foam, but they feel a lot bigger on my feet now than they did when I first got them because the memory foam's begun to wear down and now it feels a bit roomy but um, one of the things I really love about these I'm pretty sure correct me if I'm wrong these are the only level of a that have this little cushiony bit at the back of your ankle which is my favorite part of these skates I love that it's like cushioned there um, moving on to the blade oh my god this is difficult not to like flash light at you guys coronation ace pretty bog standard well no, it's an incredible blade, but it is the general blade most people have. Um, so, yeah, I love it on this boot. 
I love my Coronation Ace. The toe pick is criss cut, it is violent, big K's, great for jump, not so good for sticking in the back of your leg. So always put guards on these skates if you're carrying them because that's painful. But um, yeah, Coronation Ace. I find that it's holding, it sharpens really well as well. I don't know if that's a real thing, but I think compared to other skates I've had and other blades I've had, I really feel like, because I probably haven't had these sharpened in six months because I don't really skate in these anymore. But um, it feels like it doesn't feel blunt, blunt. Like it's not sharp but there's definitely still edges there. So I like that a lot. If you're someone that skates a lot and you're not, I know there are people that skate a lot and they always need the sharpest edges. If you're someone that skates quite a lot, but doesn't, like you're fine with a little bit like blunt skates, Coronation Ace. I mean, Coronation Ace for anyone. That's my opinion. At least if you're going with Chorus. Yes, Coronation Ace, 100%. Um, so, now we're going to move on to my highest level skate, which is my Ice Fly. Um, Grace Gold used to skate in them, if you didn't know, until she got her uh, pianos. But I am really tempted to get Gracie written on them in gold, like Gracie Gold has, because I just think it'll be funny. But um, these are my Ice Flies. Everyone knows what an Ice Fly looks like. It's state of the art state of the art figure skating boot i mean i feel like it's not i feel like a piano is the state of the art figure skating boot but an ice flight is a great boot it is impossible to over boot in a day is so if you are someone that struggles with injuries this is a really nice boot um so so five gems going up the side you can't really see uh -huh. there you go Five gems going up the side. You can also see Ice Flies written in gold and the Adea is in gold. So that is what the Adea looked like on the chorus before it all wore off. Um, these are so such bright white still that the light is going slightly nuts on them. But they also have a silver heel, which I like. And um, also, Ice Flies have a really, really thin sole, which I like. I know there's no blade in on these. I have skated in them. I know what I'm talking about. The, it's drilled, weirdly, but it is drilled. Um, so it has had blades in, just doesn't at the moment. I'll get into that. But the one thing I dislike about these boots is there's no like cushiony bit at the back like there is at the chorus. So I always have to wear really thick socks and make sure it's up there because at least breaking them in, I got a lot of blisters just from, it is quite solid because these are such solid boots. I think these are like 100% stiffness. So these are solid boots. Like you might as well like go become a really fashionable builder in these because they could like drop some bricks on you and you're not going to feel it. You're like safe in these. Um, oh, the only other thing I found with these is, it might just be because of the size I have, small feet. So generally, my feet are size four. These are two, four, five in a day, which is I think three and a half. But um, working at ice rinks, I know that up to size three is classed as children's in ice skates. These are also junior ice skates, but we bruise over that generally. So I think being three and a half, this is the last size that's got the children's length laces in, which means because there is so much padding in these skates, it is sometimes a touch difficult. I mean, it's not a problem. It's I'm so used to when I tie, sorry, I'm tying my skate up while I say this so I can demonstrate it. I'm so used to when I tie my skate up, having to go up and then down again to like use up all the lace. Whereas in these, I hardly have enough. It's not gonna show you because there's no foot in this. But um, yeah, I hardly have enough lace to get up to the top. And I always gonna show you. Yeah, here we go. Look, I hardly have enough lace once I've got up to the top to tie it into a bow just because 
I just think it's just because these are the bigger size with the children's laces, Dylan. I could be wrong about that. That's just me making up facts. So that is the boot. Now onto the blade. Originally, I had Coronation Ace on these and I hated it so much. I couldn't do anything, which is weird because I love Coronation Ace on my chorus. I love it so much. And I don't know if it's because ice skates it's two boot sizes to a blade size and i moved down a boot size but it was still the same blade size for coronation ace um so i don't know if it was having a bigger blade in comparison to my boot that just made it feel really really weird to me but i hated it i couldn't spin at all pretty much like jumps were nice i like landing jumps in these but any footwork any spins i just hated it so I got the blades taken off and I have now bought a new pair of blades. Basically, Yulia Lipinskaya, is that how you say it? I've just said that wrong, haven't I? Good. Um, she's an Olympic figure skater, or she was, and she wears ice flies. Well, she did at least. I think she might be in pianos now. And she went down a quarter of a blade size on the ones that are on the edge. And I've seen a lot of other people do that, mainly ice dancers actually, but I've heard good things about it. So what I have gone out and done is, right, bear with me on this. I have bought a second hand pair of MK Professionals off a friend, a quarter of a blade size shorter than the Coronation Ace that I had on beforehand. And I'm going to get them put on. Look, you can see that length does not look too weird. You think that's a quarter of a blade side shorter but it doesn't look nuts so I'm excited to get these put on um, but I'll talk you through the blade anyway oh these are quite sharp oh my god they must have had them sharpened before they sent them to me oh I'm gonna cut myself um so I have never skated in MK blades before but I'm excited if you look I'm excited about this rock profile. For some reason, I just feel like my twizzles are gonna be great in this. Don't know why. Is that, is that true? Probably not. But then also, I know everyone talks so much about the Coronation Ace Topic, and I talk so much about the Coronation Ace Topic. But, right, have a look at that beauty. Can you, it's so hard to get on camera, but um, the up K is, like more pointy and the down one isn't quite as ferocious as on Coronation Ace but it's more like stout than the top K which I think is gonna be cool and then the criss cut it's more organized I think than the Coronation Ace. Coronation Ace is a bit like all over the place like spiky spiky whereas this it feels like there's some order to it which I really like and I'm so excited to try jumping and toe steps in this blade because the pick looks like it's going to grip the ice beautifully and we just have to wait and see. I don't know. I know this is a nice blade and it's sort of on the same level as a Coronation Ace, but it's got a different rock profile, which I really wanted to try because I hated spinning in my Coronation Ace in these boots. So um, if you have skated in MK Professionals, let me know what you think of them. I mean, these blades, I just got them second hand off a friend. I didn't spend that much on them. So they are just sort of to try it out and if I like it, I will get a proper pair of blades, either this rock profile or these exact ones. We'll see what I think. Another question, I'm just asking you guys questions. That's why you're here to watch this, isn't it? Um, if anyone knows a good skate technician around London who would be willing to drill and put these on for me, please let me know because Lon Skate won't do it. Lonskate have already told me they won't do it. So I'm probably gonna end up going to Skate Attack in Wood Green, I wanna say. Who actually knows where Skate Attack is? Is Skate Attack even actually London? No. Um, so I'm gonna take them to Skate Attack and see if they'll do it. But if anyone else has any other suggestions of places that might, let me know and I will go see if they'll do it for me. And hopefully once I can actually get these on the ice, which I hope will be within this season, hopefully while it's still Christmas and everything is pretty, I will let you know how it is. I might even take you along. 
my first skate in them, but that might be a bit embarrassing for me. So I hope you enjoyed this niche figure skating chat. Wow, what are you guys here for? Exactly this quality content. Sorry, Grace, Grace the uh, makeup, makeup beauty vlogger. No, this is, this is Grace who hoards figure skates. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I would say I'll be back next week, but that's probably a lie because I've been so bad. Oh my God, I nearly died. Should I do a video on that? Probably. That's why I've been so bad, I nearly died, but I'll catch you off on that. Um, subscribe comment any questions you have about ice skates any ice skating videos you want to see because i am aware of the fact that these are my most popular i'm just lazy let me know uh, if there's any like off ice or on ice or i was thinking about maybe going through going through um nissa learn to skate so sort of level one level two showing you how to do the stuff and you can go practice it on yourself. Although I'm not a qualified Nissa coach. Get yourself a qualified coach because don't trust me, I'm not qualified at all. Um, uh, yeah, thank you so much. I will see you sometime. Goodbye.